Very excited. And, and you know, luckily we've got a somewhat of a veteran position player group. We've been outside an awful lot. You know, we started team practice the 24th of January, and that first week we were out every day. So you, even though it's been a little tough here recently, the the comfort of being on the field is, is there with this team. And, and, uh, and they're ready to go. They're tired of playing each other and the whole thing that you go through with preseason. Uh, it's time for the for us to kind of figure out how to use this 35-man roster. We were going to rely real heavily on the middle of our order. Uh, Jake Little will probably hit in the three-hole, and, and he was our best offensive player last year up until when he got hurt against East Carolina about, about two-thirds of the way through the season. Tucker Tubbs will be in the four-hole. He's a, he's a three-year starter. And then uh, Kane Barrow, we're going to lean on real heavily for RPI production. RBI production. He was a, the Tennessee Junior College Player of the Year. So, three big bats in the middle. We've got table setters that can run. We're 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 a kind of a multifaceted offensive team. We can steal some bases. You know, I want to get that number up in the 85 to 95 range. We were at 70 last year. Um, I think we'll hit a few more home runs, a few more doubles, a little more power in the middle, and 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 then you know getting those table setters on. So, impact of the lineup early in the season until this starting rotation can get settled in. We're too deep at every spot. It's the first time we've been that deep position player-wise since I've been here. Uh, we've got a very good bullpen. We've got a five-man bullpen I think that we can rely on. Those two factors usually bode well for longevity of wins and, and winning consistently. And, and uh, we've, you know, last year we had the dominant pitching rotation. Our bullpen was a little bit thin. Our position player team was young. And so you had ups and downs. I think more consistency is what's going to get you to that, to that regional play. And you know, in regional play, you've seen the Stony Brook bust through and go to the College World Series. You've seen some Cinderella's make it. Uh, in, in college baseball, it's, it's getting hot for two weeks. And that's what you got to do is you got to build your team to get there and then try to get hot for a two weeks, two weeks span to, to get to Omaha. Oh, we're very excited. I know everybody's been talking about it. We're, uh, we're ready to get out. We've, these last few days, we've had some snow and rain. We've been inside, and we just, the forecast is like it's supposed to warm up these next few days. So we're ready to get outside, and we're ready to go. So we're, we're all ready to get out and go. So we're ready for baseball weather. We're ready for baseball weather. <laughs> That's it. We got a lot of the same guys coming back and uh, adding a few more sticks in the lineup. So we're definitely a veteran team, and we believe we can do it, go to regional and uh, stuff with this team and our pitching. We got a lot more guys that can come out and throw strikes for us this year which we lost Sam and Eric, but I believe we'll be pretty good and we're, we're ready to take that challenge. Yeah, I think um, we have a lot of experience, um, guys that have played um, a lot in summer ball and um, just pitching um, in general. Um, but I think uh, we're ready to step up and uh, fill those kind of those gaps that were left last year. So um, not one of the guys on our staff um, won't be able to go out there and throw. So um, we're all going to be competing to keep our spots and uh, just uh, throw, throw the ball.